Welcome to Indian Jimny Explorer. Would you believe if I told you, 65% of car drivers had to replace their tires due to damages caused by underinflation or overinflation? Good news is, you can save some money and prevent such damages by simply changing tire pressure smartly. A question that lot of us have in mind is, what should be my correct car tire PSI or pound force per square inch and how to get longer life for my car tires? In this video we will talk about Basics When to reduce tire pressure Tips on using PSI efficiently Recommended tire pressures in different terrains like sand, mud, rocky trails or highways so keep watching till the end. If you are interested in videos related to off-roading, off-road vehicles, and tips to better maintain your vehicle, please subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and click on the bell notification, so you know when a new video gets uploaded. In simple words, let us understand three factors, which will help determine the correct tire pressure for your car. 1. The type of terrain you are in. Is it a soft sand? Or a mud trail? Or is it a rocky trail with sharp stones? Or is it a highway road? 2. How heavy is the vehicle? Different models could have different weight and how loaded is the vehicle? 3. Is climate hot or cold? Please note, air expands in hot climate. Tire pressure will increase while driving on a hot day as the day progresses. Based on these factors, the pressure will need to be lowered or increased to get the correct PSI for your car tires. Lowering the tire pressure. Firstly, let us understand when to reduce the pressure and what is the use of doing it. A. When you lower your tire pressure, the footprint of the tire is increased. We are not talking about the bulging at the sides, we are talking about the length of the tire, which comes in contact with the surface of ground. This increases the traction. B. The lower the pressure, it protects tire from punctures. The less air you have in your tire, the more it deforms and flexes over objects like rocks, stones, sharp sticks, etc. and prevents tire from damages. If there is a lot of air in your tire, there is less flexibility, and tire can get torn and get damaged with sharp objects. C. Help prevent unnecessary wheel spin. Less air means more contact with ground. Additional tip. While driving on a very hot day, keep a check on tire pressures throughout the day and lower them if necessary due to air expansion in tire. Let us now understand when to increase the tire pressure. It is important to air up the tire after the adventure or off-roading. If you attempt to drive on a highway for a long distance, on lower tire pressures, the tire will start tearing apart. It will start from inside and might not be immediately visible to us. The damage will be irreversible and lifespan of tire will decrease drastically. So, do not forget to air up your tire with recommended highway tire pressure. Finally, let us now look at different terrains and its recommended tire PSI. 1. Soft sand. In this terrain, the tire pressure should be lowered when the vehicle is not getting any traction or wheels start spinning. The recommended range of PSI can be between 12 to 18. Most off-roaders would be able to drive with the pressure in this range. 2. Mud terrain. This is the off-road mud track which is quite hard. The tire pressure can be in the range of 18 to 25 PSI. 3. Rocky terrain. The tire pressure can be in the range of 18 to 25 PSI. 4. Road or highway terrain. The tire pressure can be in range of 28 to 35 PSI, depending on load in your car. It is advisable to check the highway pressure recommended by the car company. Additionally, there are two bonus tips at the end of video. Bonus tip number one. Air inside the tire might heat up 
and expand once driven a few kilometers and not provide accurate PSI. So, it is advisable that tire pressure checks should happen before you drive the car for the first time of the day. Bonus tip number two. Low pressure is equal to low speed. High pressure is equal to high speed. Let us see some recommended speeds with low pressure in tires. 16 PSI or below pressure, try not to exceed 30 km per hour. 18 to 25 PSI, try not to exceed 50 km per hour. 25 to 30 PSI, try not to exceed 80 km per hour. It is a good idea to keep a compact air compressor and a tire gauge handy in the car to check the tire pressures especially during off-roading or while going on long drives. What do you think should be the correct tire pressure of the car? Please add it in the comment section below and let me know if you would like any specific topic for our next video. Thanks for watching.